demonstrate Bernoulli's theorem with simple illustrations. First illustration. Aim. Demonstration of Bernoulli's theorem using two simple pendulums. Materials required. Horizontal rod. Two simple pendulums. Bob can be paper ball or tennis ball. Procedure. Tie two simple pendulums on the horizontal rod at same height. Two bobs must be close to each other. Blow into the space between the bobs. Observation. Balls move closer to each other. Second illustration. Aim. Demonstration of Bernoulli's theorem using books and paper. Materials required. Two books. Paper. Procedure. 1. Place two books with a distance of 6 or 8 cm. 2. Place a paper on the top of these books as the bridge. 3. Blow into the bottom of the paper. Observation. Paper pushes down. Third illustration. Materials required. Paper. Procedure. 1. Take a sheet of paper. 2. Hold shorter edge of the paper so its length curves down. 3. Blow along the horizontal of paper. Observation. Then paper lifts up. Fourth illustration. Aim. Demonstration of Bernoulli's theorem using water spray. Materials required Insecticide, pesticide, spray pump, colored water, a paper, procedure. Place paper near pesticide spray pump. Press piston of pesticide spray pump. Observation. Colored water rises and sprayed into the paper. Fifth illustration. Aim. Demonstration of Bernoulli's theorem using Bunsen burner. Materials required. Fuel gas. Bunsen burner. Procedure. Allow fuel through rubber tube. Light the burner. Observe color of flame. Open the holes. Observe color of flame. Observation. When holes are closed, color of flame is bright yellow-orange color. When holes are opened, color of flame is blue. Conclusion. In the above examples, Velocity of fluid increases, so pressure at that point decreases. Then surrounding things from higher pressure move to that point. It is not allowed to stand very near to railway tracks when the train comes fast. The velocity of air on railway tracks increases when trains come fast. We have a tendency to move to an area of lower pressure According to Bernoulli's theorem, pressure is inversely proportional to velocity.